Hello everybody, Shalom Aleichem. The redemption is a huge topic. And the redemption is essentially reaching the place that we are always that we've always been aiming for, to reach that true place, the brighter place. Right now, we're in a place where we have free will. Where we have a situation that presents itself in front of us and we could either do the right thing or the wrong thing. And sometimes doing the wrong thing is more tempting than doing the right thing. But when we overcome our desires and we nonetheless do the right thing, we are setting, we are setting the stage for redemption. We're transforming this physical place into a spiritual place. And when the redemption comes, which I believe that we're in the process of it unfolding now. When you look at what's happening in the world, it's clear that things are drastically changing. The fabric of society as we know it is changing. Even though we may think that things are slowly getting back to the way they used to be, the world as we know it is not the same as it used to be. And it's only going to get even more spiritual. Slowly but surely, the world's becoming more spiritual. And when the redemption comes, like I said, spoke about the free will, Doing the right thing will be the obvious reality. Doing the spiritual will of God will be the obvious reality and it will be the pleasurable reality. Could you imagine if doing exactly what Hashem says is also what gives us the best feeling? That is what is in store for us in the days of Mashiach. And there's different phases to it. There's the early stage of redemption. And then the, which means the pro, the word in Hebrew is geula, to be redeemed. And there's the process of the world changing. And then the ultimate stage is when Mashiach comes and the Beis Hamikdash is here. And that will be inclusive of and followed by inclusive of the resurrection of the dead. The ultimate reality, the ultimate state of consciousness. And when the Beis Amigdash is here, it's not just a physical building. The Beis Amigdash is a lot more than just that. It represents and it includes the Divine Presence, the Shechina. The Shechina dwells within the Beis Amigdash. And the, the, the Divine Presence also dwells within every one of us. So that means that we, there will be an, a complete revelation of God. Meaning, God will be the obvious reality. Doing the right thing will be the obvious reality. But in order to get to that, in order to, 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 to cause it to sprout, to cause the redemption to sprout, to spring forth, how do we do that? We have to exercise our free will in the proper way now. We have to make God's will our will. If you're a Jew, that means you have to learn Torah and do mitzvahs and do good deeds for others. And by doing that, you turn yourself into a servant of God and you become sensitive to spirituality. And, you der- and it actually slowly becomes something, slowly or quickly, depending on the situation, but with Hashem's help, you become sensitive to godliness and you start to enjoy doing God's will. With physicality, we'll never be satisfied. Somebody makes 10000 he wants 20000 Somebody gets this car, he wants that car. He gets this watch, he wants that watch. It's, nev- it's, an end- it's a never-ending deceiving cycle. But with Torah, with help, with good deeds, with mitzvahs, with serving Hashem, working on our relationship with the Creator, we reach that, 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 that fulfillment. We find that place we've always been searching for. And unlike the watch, unlike the car, where it's nothing, you get an instant rush and you want more and more and more and it's a constant chase, an exhausting cycle. Unlike that, with Torah and mitzvahs, with serving Hashem, you actually get to access that, that true delight, that true enjoyment that you've always been searching for. And if you're not Jewish, you also have a mission. By keeping the seven laws of Noah and all the sub-laws within it and learning about Hashem and all the details of Hashem and there's actually... Lubavitcher Rebbe speaks about different mystical teachings for, for, for non-Jews as well, which maybe in the future, God willing, I could get into that. 
Let me know if that was something that would interest you. But by you doing that, by a Gentile doing that, he becomes a holy, righteous Gentile. He becomes a part of the redemption, a beautiful part of the redemption, the Geula, that allows us to bring the Beis Amigdash. And when non-Jews turn to the God of Abraham, that is a sign that we are entering the redemption. And I see on my videos so many beautiful non-Jews, Gentiles, holy, righteous Gentiles, who are yearning for the God of Abraham. And that gives me great confidence that we're entering the Geula. And Judaism speaks about this. And to put it lightly, to put it into perspective, any pleasure, any manifestation of greatness, any situation that you could possibly imagine in your mind of being a great situation, a, a dream of yours, the redemption towers, infinitely towers over that and dwarfs whatever you could possibly imagine to be great. So we all know that there's something more out there. We all, whether it's a dream we had or a feeling we have within us, a yearning, we know that there's something greater out there. And by learning Torah, by doing mitzvot, we, we, we're able now to bring, to connect to the redemption, to bring the redemption. While heaven, Gan Eden, is an unbelievable great place, beyond words, the redemption is even greater because that entails the fusing of heaven and earth. Bringing heaven down to earth, where we don't have to pass away to be united with Hashem. We bring Hashem into the world, and we're perfectly united with Him while we're still alive. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Please share it with others. God bless you all. And may we get to access the full redemption.